Hey Yoki Tools here and I got a new Cobalt um, truck toolbox and um, I'm uh, getting ready to install it in my bed. I got a really sweet deal on this. I probably would have saved up some money and got something else but I just happened to be in Lowe's and they had this one was a uh, scratch and dent discounted and it uh, looks to still be in pretty good shape to me uh, even for that but I got like I can't remember 75 bucks off I think so I was like okay that's a good deal so I'll go ahead and get it and I want one like this that sits flat on the uh, the bed of the truck and is low profile like that uh, meaning uh, below the rail line rather than over it so uh, most of the time you're supposed to attach these using um, quarter inch uh, self-tapping metal screws and it usually comes with those mine didn't like I said it was missing stuff and scratch and dent and everything so uh, discount on it so uh, it didn't come with that so I had to get my own hardware and I decided to upgrade to uh, substantially thicker <laughs> uh, 3 8 inch uh, bolts uh, and uh, lock washers and washers and stuff like that. So here's all the hardware and stuff tools that you'll need um, There may be some others. This pretty much does do most of it though so you need uh, Eight of these here uh, flat washers, and I got them kind of oversized because uh, for the 3 8 bolts because I like the I want to be able to hold it real well and uh, We got a uh, 3 8 nuts and then 3 8 bolts. These are one and a quarter I think and they have 9 16 heads just like the uh, nuts here that are 9 16 so you're gonna need a 9 16 socket and a 3 8 ratchet and then here are the uh, lock washers that I got here's some uh, double stick tape and um, when you get them uh, most of them come with these uh, strips that have a uh, tape on one side and you just stick it down uh, and that keeps it from uh, uh, scratching up your truck bed or something like that. Mine didn't come with that because the way I got it uh, as a damaged unit. So I went ahead and, and uh, I'm just going to make some of my own out of uh, uh, toolbox liners that I had laying around, old ones, and then uh, double stick tape. And then you need some 100% uh, silicone or some caulk or something just to waterproof the uh, nuts, the, the bolts before you tighten them down. And then you need, I have a uh, my half inch Makita. Uh, drill to uh, drill the holes with and that's a uh, 3 8 inch bit okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using this outside one right here because you don't want to put them in the low points you want to put them in the high points of your uh, truck bed so I'm going to use these outside ones on either side so what you need to do is, is you need to make sure underneath here there's nothing in the way and as you can see you can see right to the um, uh, bed of the truck and there's uh, nothing that's up close to it like within six inches of it uh, that you wouldn't want to drill through or anything like that and uh, we're staying well away from the gas tank so, so I got the uh, strips down here I got them uh, these are the uh, old drawer liners from my toolbox and um, got the double stick tape on there and got them set down and uh, you make sure you want to make sure that you uh, set them back far enough to uh to where they aren't going to be out of underneath the box so as you can see my truck bed is a you know it's a 2007 and it's a used so it's uh quite scratched up and a lot of the paint's gone and everything like that so it really doesn't matter to me if these are in here for that purpose which is kind of what they include them for but uh i just want them in here because i think it may be well uh, you know keep it from rattling over time and uh we'll uh keep it in place and um, you know, help keep in place, and then it also may help seal it a little. Uh, you know, some people use uh, rubber washers to uh, help them seal better. I'm gonna use that silicone stuff, but uh, this may help it seal a little bit too, better too. So, you, uh, after this, you go ahead and put it in place where you want it, and uh, center punch your holes to drill them out. Okay, so I got that one drilled, and that one drilled, and I got a place. To when you and I have this one right here drilled I'm getting ready to drill that one so center punch them where you want and you need to measure right here between the rail and the box 
and over here between the rail and the box and then back here so that you make sure you have enough room between it and the cab. So after you drill your last hole and run your bolt down through there, uh, you go ahead and put a wash flat washer and the bolt through and then you go ahead and put um, a uh, flat washer, a lock washer and a nut down here and you go ahead and tighten them up. If you uh, uh, have it spin on you at the top inside the box, you go ahead and uh, have somebody hold a wrench on there while you turn it or you can even uh, use a, a wrench and lock it against the uh, inside the box so it won't free spin or you can uh, use some vice grips, long vice grips to lock it against the box or, or set it against the box so you can tighten it down if you're going to do it one handed. So uh, we'll go ahead and tighten those down and then fish. Okay, so there you go. Uh, before you uh, tighten them down, you want to put some silicone on them, on the threads and on the uh, bolts as you run them down. That way it'll help uh, waterproof it. And if uh, you have a rain or something and it's retaining a little bit of water, you can just uh, uh, put some uh, more of that silicone on there. So uh, this is the way I did it. You don't have to. You can just use the stuff that it comes with or the quarter inch uh, metal screws and just you know self tapping screws just screw it down if you don't want to put a hole, holes in the bed of your truck then you probably shouldn't be getting one of these you should get one of the other ones that goes up over the rail and uh, if you uh, on mine there's already some holes and stuff like that so it's not that big a deal to me but uh, there it is that was my installation video of my new cobalt truck toolbox. Thanks for watching.